Previously on parts one and two. We started the High Line at the eastern terminus and started our journey west. The rolling hills at the start of the trail turned into 12,000 foot high mountain passes soon enough. We had arranged with an outfitter to resupply us about halfway through the trip. But somewhere along the line, the logistics were messed up and we missed the drop. I got sick and I wasn't able to keep hiking, so I dropped off the trail. I still had a ways to go to get to a trailhead, so Eric decided he would stay with me and make sure I got off the mountain. Brandon and Josh kept on the high line and kept pushing for Hayden Pass. But now with limited supplies, they had to make as many miles as they could before they ran out of food. Well, good morning. Morning, day seven. Here from Kidney Lakes on the High Line. Chota and I will be pulling out of here today. Gonna backtrack a little ways and uh, get on the Kidney Lakes trail and hopefully looking to make it seven or so miles trying to cut the distance in half that we have to do to get out tomorrow we got a ride hopefully coming tomorrow we have no confirmation of that <sighs> grade zero yesterday i needed it threw up again <laughs> and uh yeah chota's doctoring me up i think we're gonna be okay to hike out of here All right, we're just about ready to pull out of here. See how this goes. Winded just getting my stuff on. We'll take her slow. Well, we made it to the first checkpoint. I'm struggling mightily.
I struggled all day and I have no idea how many times I had to stop, take my pack off and sit down, but I managed to make it far enough down the trail to cut our distance in half to get out the next day. We didn't know if our message had gotten through and if there would be anybody there to pick us up the next day. And it was weighing on our minds as we laid in our hammocks. Meanwhile, Brandon and Josh were still pushing on the High Line. Well, good morning. Uh, day seven. Uh, I think we're in Lake Fork Basin. Not exactly sure. Monster day yesterday and probably another monster day today. We're going to try and push as many miles as we can get in today. It's about six o'clock, getting on the trail. Had elk chirping around us all night. Had a few come through camp. But uh, that seems to be the norm here. We're gonna try and do, hopefully, Red Knob and Dead Horse Pass today. We'll see what happens. So we just climbed Red Knob, um, heading down the backside of Red Knob, and then uh, Josh and I are going to part ways. He's battling some pretty serious flu-like symptoms and has for the last two days. So he's going to go out West Westport. He's going to go out Westport. Um, I'm going to keep pushing on. So I'm going to try to get over Dead Horse. And, uh, see what happens. There's a lot between. Jack and Jill Lakes in here, so more to come. Came down Red Knob Pass and uh, coming up towards Dead Horse. We just reached the junction, West Fork of the Blacks Fork. This is where Josh and I are gonna part ways. He's gonna head down this way. And I'm gonna go up that way. I'm running out of daylight, but I think I, I can push six more miles. to put me in pretty good shape for tomorrow. I'm um, pretty much of the mindset I'm getting out tomorrow, whether it's daylight or midnight. But we'll see how things work out. Just came from Red Knob Pass, heading up to Dead Horse Lake. With Josh on his way out to the trailhead, that left Brandon alone and headed for Dead Horse Pass. All right, I just made it to the top of Dead Horse. Like I said earlier, Josh is headed down uh, West Fork of the Blacks. He's going to pull out tomorrow. He's got somebody picking him up. So I'm just on my own right now. It's beautiful up here. You know, I now I know Dead Horse is not one of the highest or hardest passes, but it's definitely one of the sketchiest. <laughs> yeah, the view up here is amazing. All right, so I just made it to the junction with Jack and Jill Lakes. Um, everybody says the High Line through here, 
it's the burn area is really difficult to get through the jack and jill lakes will put a little extra mileage on my trip uh, not a lot but everybody says it's faster so i'm all about faster right now and like i say i talked to a woman today on trail that said she stayed at jack and jill lakes and came from hayden pass and it was roughly 14 miles so that'll put me in good shape to uh get out of here tomorrow at a decent time um i still got a couple hours of daylight so I'll try and book it to jack and jill lakes if i have enough time maybe i'll push to ore uh, i'll see i'll see and hope there's trees that i can hang from last night's hang was horrible Brandon and Josh started the day with a few miles in front of them before they went over Red Knob Pass. Once over the pass, Josh left the high line and started down towards lower elevation and got a ride out. Brandon pushed on and went over Dead Horse Pass and ended up camping near Jack and Jill Lakes. All right, uh, end of day seven. Just make, setting up a camp. I'm kind of camping right off the, the trail that I finally found. So I was trying to make it to the Jack and Jill Lakes, which I did. Um, but I was making really good time getting there. I was thinking I was going to push up to Ore Lake. And then I hit that burn section everybody talks about. And I kind of say that the trail's hard to find. There ain't no trail. <laughs> I couldn't find anything that looked like a trail. I'm using Onyx Backcountry. And it would tell me I'm on a trail and I'm still jumping over deadfall and burnt trees. And there, there's no trail that I could discern. Um, but I did hear somebody say stay up kind of high above the lakes. So I climbed up and did that. And then at the end of the last lake, came down and did finally find a trail. But if you couldn't tell, the mosquitoes are horrible. And I have no spray or anything. But I will endure. I got one more night. So I think this sets me up for about a 14 mile hike out. So I'm gonna get up with the sun and get on trail and hope for the best. Well, good morning. Morning day eight for us down here on the Uinta River. We cut about our distance in half yesterday so ready to be done we're about packed up here just loading up on water we'll get to pushing on our hike out i was struggling more than ever sometimes i can only go a half a mile before i need a break when we got within a mile and a half of the trailhead eric hiked out to see if anybody was there to pick us up and then he would come back and get me. When he got to the trailhead, he searched all around, but nobody was there. When he got back up to me and I saw that he was still wearing his pack, well, I knew that this adventure wasn't over yet. When we got near the end, a bull moose was blocking the trail. There wasn't any way to get around him, so we needed him to move. At this point, every second wearing my pack was torture. And at some point, I had had enough and I started walking towards the moose. I was yelling at him to move, just hoping that I would be able to get past him. When I got close enough, he finally walked up into the brush and we made it by. By the time we hit the gate a few hundred yards from the trailhead, Eric went ahead to see if our ride was there. And thankfully they were there, and we got a ride home. Meanwhile, back on the high line, Brandon was getting ready to start the day and make his final push to complete the Uinta High Line Trail. Oh, good morning. It is day eight. Um, I'm already packed up. I'm already on the trail. It's about a uh, quarter after seven. I'm trying to make it to the truck today. 
Um, flying solo, I'm guessing 14 miles maybe. But uh, now we're gonna we're gonna give her hell, man. I I love it out here. It is so beautiful and in a weird kind of way, it's been awesome being out here, even though we've had a few struggles. But I'm ready to ready to see my baby. I'm ready to go home. So barring any unforeseen problems and or circumstances, I'm thinking I'll make the truck late this afternoon. Wow, what an adventure it's been, man. This has not been a backpacking trip. This has been an adventure, for sure. Well, shit. The trails up here are so hard to even discern. Apparently, I'm on the wrong one. I think I'm only about a, a little more than a quarter mile up it. Hopefully, it gets better once we get back on the high line. Once again, just walking through some burned area. There's no trail. I can't see a trail. You're just heading in the general direction and hoping for the best. It'd be easy to get lost in here. much at the base of Rocky Sea Pass, maybe a quarter mile from there, stopping to have a little lunch. But um, yeah, calorieing up, get some electrolytes, and we'll get after it. Uh, I'll talk to you again when I'm at the top of the pass. I'm at the top of Rocky Sea Pass, the last pass I have to do on this trip. And then I think I have roughly a six mile walk to get back to my truck. Tata, this one's for you. Uh, Caroline Lake, fond memories. It was a good chunk of my family and my sons. It was a great time. Well, wow. definitely fond memories. Get back on trail. This being Scudder Lake, I think I'm within two miles of my truck, which will probably be the longest two miles of this whole trip. I'll leave in the high UN as well. Looks like a new side. Oh shit, I'm exhausted. This is the one I've been waiting for all day. We are almost there. And there's warm beer in the truck. Sounds delightful. <laughs> I'm close. I can hear cars. Holy shit. <laughs> Been waiting for this for a while. To be honest, that's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I think I'm gonna sit here, catch my breath, and it's beer time. Brandon started the day searching for trail through burnt sections of the forest. Then he made it up and over Rocky Sea Pass, and then it was not long before he was on familiar trail. He cruised back to Hayden Pass to complete the full. 110 plus miles of the Uinta Highline Trail. This is 
for you guys. Oh. And for me. It ain't the radio brewery like it should be, but it'll do. Four of us started this adventure, and one walked out the other side. Even though I didn't complete the whole trail, this was still the longest trip that I have ever done. It was unlike any other trip I've been on, and most certainly the hardest thing that I have ever attempted. We didn't get to celebrate together at the end of the trail, but we made up for it. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers.